Hey guys, Dustin here. Uh, playing some Resident Evil Remake Remastered, or RE Cube, as I like to call it. And I just want to kind of do an update video kind of thing because uh, I haven't. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha Team. Come in. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. Brad. <laughs> Shit. It's broken. Uh, yeah, I've been haven't been very active on our YouTube channel recently. That's because uh, a freaking plague at the house of Vogue Nasty, man. My son got sick and he was sick for a few days. And I don't get sick, but it actually got me. And I was sick for like a week. Uh, and then right after that, my wife got sick and. I had to nurse her back to health because she was doing the same to me when I was sick, so. Uh, oh, man, did I just poison me? No, I'm good. I didn't see that one laying there. Oh, crap. Did I just poison me? No, I'm still good. Oh, so, yeah, I thought I'd uh, play some Resident Evil and talk to you guys about it. Uh... I'm playing this on my PlayStation 4, and this game is great. It's really good. Uh, I've owned the original remake, which is a weird thing to say, for years, probably since it was new. I bought it on the GameCube, and I just never got around to playing it. And uh, every time I kind of got excited about it, I would think about it, and I'm like, man, I don't want to play that on this stupid GameCube controller. Not my favorite controller in the world. But now I can play it on my PlayStation 4 controller. And... Sweet. Is that from Barry? Oh, thanks, Barry. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I didn't want to play on the GameCube. But now I can play it on the PlayStation 4. And the, the revamp controls are actually very nice. Your, uh, I use the uh, alternate controls, and your, at any given time, the D-pad is your old-school tank controls. You even have a, uh, a dedicated run button. And uh, at any given time, your analog will just run you in whatever direction. It has, like, proper analog control. So, you're not giving up one for the other at any time. You can switch in between. And overall, the analog control works pretty well. Uh... I think there's a dog in here. No? Okay. Maybe because the hunters are about to show up. Whoa, man, he is not screwing around. Yeah, the the monsters like for this remake, I think they can the control was definitely re clearly it was redone, right? But the the monsters uh, agility was not retooled, so you can run around these monsters so easily with this analog control. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I need to find the helmet key doors. Uh, up above is where 
La, la, la. That's where you fight Yawn. At least it is in the original version. I need to go upstairs anyway, so. I can see his claw. See, I gotta admit, when I first heard about this happening, I, I, I rolled my eyes at the idea, but I've actually really been enjoying this quite a bit. I don't really have anything I need to put away. to see that the hunter has disappeared. Huh, there's that one up here. Maybe he's down that hallway there. Windows open. Huh. I never noticed that. So yeah, there you could see that uh, sometimes when the camera angle changes, you'll kind of stutter and, and Jill kind of won't know where to go at first. And that happens from time to time. That's that's the original reason for the tank controls to begin with. But uh, overall, it, it works out pretty well. It's not too bad. Okay, let's see here. I need to figure out. the other side, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't Missed a door downstairs. Go down there. But yeah, it's this being able to play through the first game again is really cool because it's different enough to be different, but familiar enough to still be the first game. And I don't know, it's been blowing my mind a little bit. So 
Something handwritten, not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind the painting, not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. There's nothing unusual, really. Okay. I was pretty lucky. The uh, shotgun isn't the guaranteed decapitation that it is in the first one. Sometimes it'll just, it'll hurt them, they'll go down, and then they'll come back. And that's a real bummer. I haven't fought too many of those uh, crimson zombies, but uh, I don't want to either, so. <laughs> I've been pretty meticulous about uh, going around and when I first went through these rooms, burning the uh, the bodies of the... the zombies that I did shoot. stuff. I wonder if I can use the, uh, oh, no, no. I wonder if I can use the defensive items on hunters. Nail to the chief. Next day is drawing up, up on us. Up, up on us. Upon us? Up on, okay. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as samples, including the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. And wait, when the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella.
Oh, let's see. Oh, uh, okay. I did not know I could put that many in. Okay, that's awesome. Man, what a convenient weapon. The grenade launcher in uh, 2 was the same way. Like, you could put, like, if I remember correctly, you could put a million grenades in at the same time. Just because of the way that it, uh, Claire reloaded. Oh, well, that was easy. I just walked under the thing. Okay. Okay, get down. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. See, that's that's where the uh, the analog control kind of can be a pain. I wonder if I can reach it from here. exit and come back in but okay this isn't very interesting anymore guys so uh, i'm gonna cut it here uh thanks for watching hopefully uh i'll be able to get back in the groove of things here coming up and uh i will catch you guys next video peace out